Hello internet people. In this video I'll show you six must-have plugins for every WordPress website. And these plugins will help you with SEO, speed, security and backups. And the best part is I prepared a plugin that will install everything for you. And so that means you just need a few clicks and you have all six. That should save you some time, right? Wrong. Tape sweat punch. So let's start by installing a plugin that will install all six plugins for you. Just head to the description of this video and click on the first link. It will bring you to my website where you can download this plugin. Just click on download button and now head to your WordPress dashboard. And just navigate to plugins, add new. And then click on upload plugin and browse. Select this file that you just downloaded and open it and click on install now. And this plugin is super simple. I've created it myself. It's only a list of other plugins, but the cool thing about it is once you activate it, it'll suggest you to install all those plugins in one go. This is how JC looked like when he saw the plugin. So here at the top you see this team recommends the following plugins, blah, blah, blah. So just click on begin installing plugins. So let's go ahead and click on this checkbox and in the drop down click select install and then click on apply. Now this will take a bit of time because there's uh, several plugins there. All right, and once it's done, you'll see this page and you can just go to on the last link, click on it, return to required plugins installer. And again, click on this checkbox and select activate. And then click on apply. And that's it. You've installed a lot of plugins now and I'm going to show you how to actually uh, use them. Arnie, tell the audience the plan. Now this is the plan. Get your ass to Mars. Mind blowing, Arnie. Mind blowing. So the first plugin is W3 Total Cache, and it's caching plugin which will drastically improve your page speed. And in summary, this is how caching plugins work. Let's say a user arrives to your website's homepage. Usually, WordPress would make a request to the database to show the content to the user, but instead, this plugin creates a static HTML page of your homepage beforehand and shows this to the user. Since there are no calls to the database, it's much faster to load. So let me show you how to adjust the settings for best performance. And as you can see, I've run a uh, speed test on this website. And at this point, it uh, gets 87% score for page speed score in GT metrics and Y slow score is 65%. But you'll see in a second when we install a a caching plugin, it will go up to above 90% easily. So let's get started with the page speed optimization. So let's go and here at the top, you'll see performance and just click on general settings. And just scroll down and enable the page cache. Also enable the minify It'll just warn you that there might be some uh, problems with this one, but as long as you update your, the plugin, it should be work uh, fine with everything. So just, and then just click, I understand the risks. Otherwise you end up like this guy. All my calculations are wrong, even in my dreams. And you can keep these as default. And then here, you scroll down enable the database cache and the object cache. See the end we're not going to use right now. And just keep scrolling, enable the lazy loading and the rest you can keep as is. And then just click on one of these uh, save settings and purge cache. So one thing about the cache plugin is when you do updates on your website, you Time to time have to come here, performance, and purge all cache. And this way it will uh, remove all the files that it's created 
and refresh your website. So sometimes you might end up in a situation where you've updated something, but then you go to your website and you don't see the change. It's because of the cache. Just refresh it, remove the old uh, data, and then you'll, you'll see the change. So don't forget to use this performance. The second plugin is Brismotion. And it's an image optimization plugin which will compress your images automatically when you upload them to WordPress. And smaller images mean faster page load. So here's how you can set it up. And just quickly, I want to show you another plugin that is installed here. And if you go to media, and here you have Rismush it. And this is your image compression plugin. So the cool thing is if you have already images there, you could optimize all of them. And what it does, it just compresses the images so that they take up less space without compromising the quality. So what you need to do here in the settings, make sure that optimize on upload. So every time you upload an image, it will actually do it for you right there. So you don't need to do it yourself. Arnie, how do you compress your images? I need compression. <laughs> and then also put the image quality. Let's put the 92, which is default anyway. And then enable statistics so you can see how much it actually optimized stuff. And then save changes. And you can also optimize the existing images by clicking on this button. This will take a bit of time depending on how many images you already have. And once it's done, you'll get this message. And that just means all your existing images are now optimized as well. And now if we go, let's grab this URL and go to GT metrics. And this is how fast your website loads. This is a tool to test it. And if we do that, test your site. You can see that it loads, it gets a score of 97. And uh, what's great about it, it loads in uh, less than two seconds. And here, pretty much everything is in green. There's few things that you could make better. And that's just optimizing your website even further. So huge improvements in just like five minutes. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. And the third plugin is called Yoast SEO. It's a super popular plugin and uh, it basically optimizes your website so that search engines like Google can find your website and also index it. And it just increases the likelihood that your website will appear in Google search results. All right, let me next show you just quickly the SEO plugin that's installed. So here on the left, if you scroll down, you see SEO, just click on general. This is called Yoast SEO. It's a very popular plugin and it has a lot of features I want to just mention that here under Webmaster Tools, this is where you can actually verify your website with Google, which will be important down the road. And you have also under search appearance here on the left, you have more settings. You get a setting and you get a setting. Everybody gets a setting. This tool is very extensive. So if you want to know more about this, how to set up everything, check out the link in the description. And it just talks more about this plugin by default. The settings are already pretty good and the most noticeable is when when you use it in an article or a post. So if you go to post and there's only one here, so I'll open this one. If you click on edit, so all your posts and all your pages will have the same block. It's the Yoast SEO block and it helps you to um, create a content that actually is also good for SEO. And if you want to learn more about all the features of this plugin, just check out the link in the description of this video. The fourth plugin is called Updraft Plus and it's a backup plugin. And you should really have automatic backups just in case your website crashes because you never know what, when that happens. And the best part of the plugin is that you can connect it to Google Drive or Dropbox and then you have everything stored in a remote location. It's just extra peace of mind when you do this way. And you can reach it here at the top. It's a plugin for backups. So to backup stuff, you can go here at the top. You see Updraft Plus and then select settings. And on this page, you'll be able to set um, automatic backups. So you have two things to set up here, files to backup and database. You need both. So let's set those to weekly. 
uh, and then how many copies you want to retain. Since I have weekly, I'm going to just set to four. So that means I have backups for a month. Then there's an option to have remote storage. So for example, my favorite is Google Drive or Dropbox. And that way you actually have all your backups somewhere in a remote location and they're not dependent uh, on your web hosting because by default, all these backups will be saved on your web hosting, which is in 99% cases okay. But if you wanna learn how to actually do a remote storage, then check out the link in the description. I have uh, there how to do it with Google Drive and Dropbox, I think. So don't be this guy. I don't need backup. <laughs> I have right on my side. And then if you scroll down, you can keep these as, as is. And then here, if you want to get an email every time a backup is done, you can check this, this one and the rest just keep them as is. And then don't forget to save changes. Okay, and then once it's done, you can go to Backup Restore tab. You can see here that next scheduled backup is March 29th, which is a week from today. And it's going to make an automatic backup. Then if you want a backup from what you have right now, you, you can just click on Backup Now. And here you just choose Include Database, Include Your Files, and that's about it. And then just click on Backup Now. And here you'll see it starts to backing up your files. Since you don't have that much stuff yet, it'll be fairly quick. And uh, this is the way you can actually set up backups automatically, just so you have a peace of mind when you're doing updates on your website that nothing goes wrong. The fifth plugin is called Akis Medanti Spam. And if you allow comments on your site, this is a must have because there's so much spam coming through and this plugin will prevent most of the spam reaching your inbox. And just to show you, this is how much spam I get on my site. And it just goes directly into the spam folder and I never even see it. You can see all this stuff, just spam, spam, almost every day. And you can see it under settings. And here, if you click on it, it's very useful, especially when you start getting some traffic on your website. You'll get so much spam, so many comments that are not real, they're just generated by robots. I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. I really recommend you to go through this. You just need to register an account and then you're able to utilize this plugin. It's free and it works really well. And you'll notice it'll make a big difference. You'll filter out most of the spam. So I really recommend this one, especially if you're uh, doing a blog or something where there's could be a lot of comments. The last plugin is creatively called Limit Login Attempts. And it basically just adds another layer of security because it can prevent some of those brute force attacks against your site. So if you enter your password three times incorrectly, it will put you on a timeout and then in 30 minutes you can try again. And that's something again in the settings it's the last one here. Limit login attempts. If you click on it, it's already by default, it's enabled. And what's great about it, if somebody's trying to hack your website, you're able to lock it down and it helps just with general security. That was my must have plugins list. What about you? Did I miss some plugin that you think should be on this list? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!